Hi, I'm Laura Faith, author of I Found All the Parts, Healing the Soul Through Rock and Roll. Today I'm with Dr. Heidi Peterson, and she is a clairvoyant and spiritual healer. And Dr. Peterson, I'd like you to just address a little bit about the reasons why people might be nervous about working with an intuitive, and what, from your perspective, why why we shouldn't be nervous and why it should actually be something that we look forward to and, and can be very helpful in our lives. Oh, well, there are several reasons people might be nervous about working with an intuitive. I think really the main reason is just that there are so many myths in our culture. There are so many scary movies in which psychics or um, mediums play a role that's uh, actually kind of scary, you know, in horror films, you know, doing seances or, um, I don't know, I don't know what all these, or putting curses on people or... Uh, Oftentimes they'll have gypsies in a back room behind a curtain. And those are all, um, those are all just kind of slivers of um, what goes on. Um, Those are not really accurate depictions of what receiving help from an intuitive is about. What getting a psychic reading or receiving help from an intuitive is about is about being seen at a spiritual level. And so many of us are used to being seen at a physical level. People might say, oh, I really I really like your sweater, or oh, that's a great haircut. But they're not used to being seen at a spiritual level. Oh, you are very compassionate. Or, oh, you really bring great joy to people. Or, oh, I love your humor. Those traits, the traits that we bring as beings to this planet and the qualities that we express really as part of uplifting people often, I mean, they can often be kind of appreciated, but people don't regularly speak to them or recognize them or um, know how to interact at that level. So when people get a psychic reading, it's a great opportunity for someone to actually just Look at um, look at the other person as a being, and what gifts and traits they bring to the planet, and so they can recognize the joyfulness or the compassion or the um, ability to recognize others, or um, any number of spiritual um, attributes that that person is gifted in expressing on this planet. So, uh, so, but would you be able to tell somebody, like, that they're going to die, or that, um, do you know secrets about them, that they're afraid you might tell other people? I mean, mm-hmm. that seems to be sometimes the fear from some people, like, oh my God, you can see right through me, you know all the things about me that are good, bad, and not, you know, mm-hmm. in between. Um, it, can you address that a little bit, too? Yes. Uh, I I do not go around telling people that they're going to die, Mm -hmm. and in general, I don't even really look at the future. I'm looking at what they're working with right now in present time. And in doing that, often people do feel like you see every little thing about them, and um, again, because they're not used to being seen at a spiritual level. Uh, The thing that's funny about that is that when... um, when we do see about when we do see them, it's often really lovely things that we see. But people are are sometimes afraid to show their loveliness, just like they would be afraid to show their warts. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I think about people even with something as basic as like a physical body massage. Sometimes people are scared to um, be that uh, vulnerable to lay still and relax while someone touches their body. And a spiritual reading or a psychic reading is about saying hello to someone as a as a spirit, as a being on this planet. So there's a there's a similarity between a physical body massage and a spiritual reading. The physical body massage sort of relaxes and addresses things that are creating tension in the physical body. And a spiritual reading or a psychic reading or a clairvoyant reading 
is a way of smoothing and saying hello to someone as a being and addressing the issues that are creating tension or anxiety or uneasiness with, with them at a spiritual level. And as someone gets read, those things that are creating the tension tend to fall away. It's a way of opening up the space for them to express more of those aspects of them that are really their true gifts as beings on the planet. That's a, a really great metaphor. I, I appreciate that analogy because that, uh, I think, helps dispel a lot of the uncertainty about what an intuitive or a psychic or clairvoyant um, is actually, you know, what they're working with, the energy. One's a physical level for the massage therapist, and you're working with this uh, energy at this level of spirit. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.